Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the GoPro Hero 10. This only came out recently this month in September. I think it might have been just over a week ago now. And we've got lots of nice new upgrades. I'm not really too up to date with the stuff that GoPro is up to. My last one was a Hero 6 that I still have. And the one before that was a Hero 2. So maybe my next one will be the Hero 14. Uh, but no, I only really tend to to buy them as and when. Sort of when there's a big upgrade or, or what have you. Um, we're still missing out on some key features in the Hero 10. Uh, in fact, some stuff has regressed slightly. However, you know, we'll go through this new one, the 10 year anniversary, all that sort of stuff. So bound to be a big one. Hopefully it's good. Fingers crossed it's good. So you get this nice uh, nice box. It's the first time I've had one new. So for some people you may think this is uh, not all that all that great. But we'll run through it together anyway and we'll go through the features and whatnot. So I've just got the basic pack with the camera, single battery, and then your yeah usual accessories and a carry case as well, which is nice. I don't know if they were doing that one, doing that before or not. I can't tell you. So it looks like we've now got a a battery compartment that flips up, although I believe that that is also the same for the 9 and 8, not the same for the 6 though, so that's what I'm sort of comparing it to. Hopefully there's a big upgrade from 6 to the 10. So you can actually now just take files directly from your GoPro through USB to the PC, is one of the things I've read, which was actually a pretty good improvement, although surely one that's like been just really simple to implement and they could have done it a long time ago, but you know, whatever. Better late, better late than never, I should say. So we've got a 23 megapixel sensor, which is pretty good. Um, still roughly the same lens size though, as far as I'm aware, but nevertheless, the processor much improved, I gather. We've got a 5, was that 5.3K? Why isn't it not just 5K? <laughs> okay, fair enough, at 60. 4K 120, really good. Um, and then obviously the 240 mode for 2.7K is um, something that I do really want to have a bit of a, a play around with if I can, out and about, see how, you know, slow motion looks, um, you know, with the footage shot at 240. Uh, we've got a 10 meter drop into water, not really an issue for me, more of a land mammal than anything, so don't think it will, will be going in water, but good to know. It's got that resistance there. Voice control, once again, not really too fussed about that myself. Eight times slow-mo, I um, wonder how they're working that out. Is that to do with like running it at 24 or 30 FPS and then doing it that way? I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Data overlays, pretty good. More information, the better. Time Warp 3.0, once again, not sure. 1080p live streaming, that's fine. Uh, I figure like some of the some of the other ones did that as well. But anyway, Super Photo plus HDR plus RAW. Okay, very nice. Automatic upload to the cloud, yes. We'll get into that. Webcam mode, that's not a bad thing. Um, I do tend to use mine through HDMI, my Hero 6. So um, whether you can do that by USB, I guess that's quite good. But I would probably still prefer to do it through HDMI if I can. Mod ready, yeah, once again, one of my issues. And Hyper Smooth 4.0, I think their stabilization thing, stabilization for GoPros is actually pretty darn good. One of the best I've seen from using um, a few different action cams and also mobiles and stuff so yeah that's uh, all positive and obviously I guess the big selling point is the new GP GoPro 2 processor um, I don't think there's much else really other than obviously the 5k at 60 which I uh, can't imagine what the file size is like in that so first time I'm opening it oh I should say I did get a we can focus a 32 gig micro SD card, one of the extreme ones. I think I've got, what is it, a class 3 A1? Yeah, I think I've got one of these at 64 gigs, so I'll probably put that one in, but this would do well as a spare, I guess. That just comes as standard with the camera, so it seems, on their website. So take it out, nothing else in the box, but we do get a nice carry case. I do enjoy having cases for my extremely expensive equipment, there's always a help, especially if you want to transport it anywhere. Okay, let's open it up, oh, okay, your camera must be updated. 
Yep, yeah. well, it's good that you let me know, I suppose. Put that to one side. Guessing this is all just more blurb in here. Okay, telling me where to install the battery and everything. Quick start guide. Stickers. Yes, I would love to advertise uh, your company for free. Thanks, GoPro. Product questions. Well, yeah, support aren't going to be able to help you, so if that book doesn't, you're royally screwed. Uh, micro. Not micro. USB C cable. We all know what they look like. I won't labour on the point. Yeah. Various usual accessories, the GoPros, just the one battery. I uh, believe the, from what I've read, the Hero 9 ones are capable with, uh, compatible with the Hero 10. So that's good if you've already got one of them, I suppose. And then, yeah, standard clippy mounty things that you get. So I've not had a GoPro that has the um, flick out mount option before. Obviously, my 6 has its has to have its own um, holder to go in. So. That's one of the big improvements I think they've made with, with the GoPro that just, you know, user experience is enhanced by that. I'm also, I must update the camera. <laughs> well, letting me know at least, I guess. So, yeah, there you have it. I'd say it's, it feels probably slightly bigger than the, than the 6 without the case on, but obviously probably not too dissimilar with with the outer with the outer case on so not too bad actually much denser for sure uh, I like having the little viewfinder at the front that's definitely going to be pretty helpful we've got new glass on the lens from what I've um, read upon it which pretty good if you especially if you're going to get it wet <laughs> and uh, yeah we've got the blue accents now for the 10 year and it feels like how you would expect a GoPro to feel rubberized around the outside so give it that extra drop resistance. Uh, I'm not going to be turning it on in this, obviously if I've got to update it then I won't get to have a play around with it for a bit, but I might let it do its thing while, um, while I carry on sorting out some other stuff and then come back to this at a later video. But uh, we'll say, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean that's what you get in the box, it's fairly basic. You can pick up like a special um, extra accessory pack which is about an extra £50 uh, which gives you a little tripod, an extra battery, battery charger I think, um, I can't remember what the other stuff was, but uh, yeah one of the gripes that I have with GoPro and I've had it with them for a while, when admittedly when I had my Hero 2 Silver, uh, 2 Silver, Silver 2, whatever it's called, you know you had to buy an adapter to use an external microphone, but now with the with these ones you and from the 6, I don't know when it started, but my 6 is the same issue. You can't just attach an external microphone to it. You've got to buy a very expensive adapter. Now, luckily, the ones that are for the 9, 8, 9 and 10, I think, the mod, uh, media mod or whatever they're called, they are actually at least make a lot more sense because, you know, they go around the camera rather than um, a dongle that you would get for the 6. So, yeah, you know, I'm really looking forward to having a go with it, though, to be fair. And it's nice to have a you know, a big improvement on that in terms of um, going up in camera quality and of course it's the first one I've bought, have actually bought new, usually I get them used so because I don't really have a need for it but I'm planning on taking this away with me when I do go away and hopefully it's up to the task, we'll do a lot of, uh, as much testing as I can beforehand mainly because I don't particularly want to take this bad boy that I'm using now away with me because it's quite big and cumbersome so I'd rather take this with like a, a tripod and and my external microphone. But we'll see. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's not been, I'm sorry there's no like in-depth look at it in terms of footage and things. But while I've still got the Hero 6 as well and the Hero 10, we'll do some side by side. Naturally, you know, the Hero 10 I'm expecting to be much better because with so many more generations on from the Hero 6. But I think that, you know, a 6 to a 10 is probably, you know, a decent upgrade cycle for this type of thing and because the Hero 6 is still really usable the Hero 2 Silver would actually still <laughs> be really usable as well which um, you know assuming they haven't fried themselves is, is quite a good a big testament to uh, how well GoPro make their products but you know if your customer support is bad which it was for me and if <laughs> and yeah anyway and if you carry on making a, a product every year 
with with some years being very minor upgrades than like this one really. I know they put a new processor in and added some new technology, but you know, effectively and a slightly better sensor, I guess. But um, yeah, it's more uh, evolution as opposed to revolution, I suppose. Um, but yeah, no, I'll leave it there because I've got nothing else to talk about for now. But uh, we'll see some more footage. At least I'll sh show something from the GoPro uh, 10 anyway, uh, as and when I get to, to record something. And if I can and I have time and everything else, I'll do a side by side with the Hero 6. Right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.